Oh, uh, here they go. The Matisse fans have regrouped and come out swinging with all these excuses. Now you hear, oh, well, Danny was cheating. He should have been disqualified. The referee should have took some points for the low blows. That's what happened. Oh, my goodness. Why did they let Danny Garcia do that? And now all these rumors about a rematch. This didn't come from nobody but the Argentinian fans creating this rumor. There is no talks of a rematch. None. Not one. Danny is not focused on fighting Matisse again. What is that fight going to do for Danny if he fights Matisse again in a rematch? What is that for? Why would there be a rematch right now? Let it build back up. If Matisse can prove that he can do something, he might want to stay at 140. Because Danny's going to move up to 147. He either wants Mayweather or somebody a big fight at 147. But you want me to tell you why this outcome happened the way it was? And what happened? And why I told you it was going to happen? Because y'all was laughing at me and like, oh, that's just pictures. When Matisse was doing this, Danny was doing this. When Matisse was doing this, that's when Danny was doing this. Matisse was doing this. Danny's doing this. When his team was doing this, Danny was doing this. You see? When y'all fans was putting all them crazy pictures out there, how Matisse was going to kill Danny and all that, he used it. He used that as his determination, and he came in with a game plan. Y'all talk all about Angel Garcia you want, but they had a good game plan, and it worked for Matisse. They know what type of fighter he was, and that's how you got the results you got. It all came down to who had greater skills. If they fought again, then he might knock him out quicker. Now let's see how Matisse do bouncing back fighting somebody else. Because now his confidence has been shattered. For the first time in his law in his life, he got beat up. Zab didn't beat him up. Devin didn't beat him up. This is the first time he's been beat up. And the first time he could say, Hey, I lost. And I know I lost. Let's see what happens to Lucas Matisse now. Will he bounce back and thrive? Or will this be one of those type of defeats that puts him down a spiral going down? We'll have to see. Because I don't know if anybody's going to be scared of him anymore. And once a bully loses that power, it is what it is.